In the beginning, there was the goddess. The flame that ignited the universe into existence. En el principio, hubo fuego. In all her greatness, the goddess brought forth life, death, and the force of nature. Immortal, changeless, omnipotent. But man was threatened by her power. She calls from her mind to the great goddess to step out from the shadows and into the light. In fire, she shall return. Let it burn. Poor foolish Eve fell for the forbidden fruit and brought shame upon the earth. As man was far wiser than woman, the male god granted him the right to control her. For she is the serpent, the temptress the precipitous trap. Painful yearning and obsession consumes her far more than a man can manage. And so woman was made for man. Bestowed upon her was a bitch's mind and a knavish nature. Of course, the male god favored man and had indeed designed them as naturally superior. Or so he thought, because within every soft fruit is a hard stone. Within every lamb there's a lion, and within every woman is a weapon. Little did man know that from all he has been ruled by woman, the mighty mistresses of fate. In their hands, the thread of life was spun, measured, cut. Entire generations resting in the tender toss of a dice. Empires demolish, cities in flames. The eagle is the mightiest bird in the sky. Her strength is in her talents. Before Eve, there was Lilith, created from dust, molded from dirt, child of the earth, sculpted as equal to Adam, she refused to submit to him, so the male god banished her from paradise for eternity. Poor woman had been damned. And so, the world was man's. And what a mess he made of it. Now she rises, ready to restore balance. Let's begin. <laughs>